The Techno Camon 20 Premier versus the Samsung Galaxy A54 in a head-to-head -head battle. Which device do you think is better? In this video, we're going to find out. Now, I've made individual reviews on both smartphones, so I'll only focus more on the most vital aspects or the key differentiating factors between the two smartphones. Starting with the price, the Techno Camon 20 Premier costs 295,000 Naira while the Samsung Galaxy A54 costs 318,000 Naira for the variant that I have here. Now, if you're going the Techno route, you're going to get complete accessories within the box, including a well-made carrying case, which is brilliant. By the way, if you subscribe to my channel, that will also be brilliant. On the A54, you're only getting the charging cable. You are required to spend extra money to get a charging brick. And as you can see, we have our first winner in this category, which is the Camon 20 Premier. For the display, both devices use an appealing display technology, which is AMOLED. The Techno is slightly bigger at 6.67 inches, while the A54 is more of a compact device at 6.64 inches. Both displays are super sharp and delightful to watch movies, TikTok and media in general. The Techno device takes the notch here with its near zero bezel. It makes content more immersive and appealing. Keeping both devices side by side really shows how impressive the Camon 20 Premier is. The thinner bezels around the display makes it more appealing than the display on the Samsung device. However, the A54 is slightly brighter, especially if you're in a brighter environment or under the sun and it also supports HDR10+. Both displays are actually very impressive and I can't really say one is better than the other. So, this is a tie for me. While the A54 uses a Gorilla Glass 5 as a protection for its display, there is no word from Techno the type of protection layer the Camon 20 Premier has and it is safe to say that the A54 right here takes it here. Still on the display, both smartphones uses an under display fingerprint scanner, which is more like a flagship feature. Both actually worked fine all the time, but the one on the Techno device was slightly faster, giving the Camon 20 Premier an edge over the A54. So in this category, goes to the Techno device. For design and build quality, this might likely be a preference thing. Design they say is subjective, you might like something and I don't. It doesn't make that thing bad. The Camon 20 Premier uses a different design approach. This time it has leather at the back and stainless steel on the frame. While the Samsung Galaxy A54 is in line with the current Samsung flagship devices. It has glass at the back and a plastic frame. Frankly, both devices actually feel solid and well made, but I love the compact design of the A54. It makes it very comfortable to hold. The Camon 20 Premier on the other hand feels boxy and tall. From a design standpoint, the Camon 20 Premier feels slightly more premium. To be honest, I still don't know how I feel about the camera bump at the back of the Camon 20 Premier. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section, okay? For me, I'm leaning towards the A54. I love the rounded corners and how compact it feels in the hand. For the first time on a Techno device, we have some sort of IP certification. That's IP53 for water splash and dust resistance. Meanwhile, the A54 comes with IP67 dust and water resistance, meaning it can submerge your A54 inside water for a short period of time. Now, judging from previous Techno devices, this is a step in the right direction for Techno, but the A54 again wins this round. The Techno Camon 20 Premier and the Samsung Galaxy A54 comes with stereo speakers. This makes watching videos through the speakers and gaming more fun. However, the speaker on the A54 have a fuller sound, more bass and overall better sound the speakers. Take a listen. The Techno Camon 20 Premier comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 8050 6nm octa-core processor paired with 8GB of RAM and a whooping 512GB of storage. The A54 on the other hand comes with a 5 nanometer Exynos 1380 octa-core CPU paired with 8GB of RAM and a whooping 256GB of storage. That is also large. 
When it comes to real life performance, both devices are actually great. I've never experienced any stutter or performance issues. Gaming and day to day usage is actually very impressive on both smartphones. However, when it comes to raw CP performance tests through Benchmarks application, the Techno Common 20 Premier is a clear winner here. As you can see here, it scores higher on both Geekbench and Antutu benchmarks. Gaming on the Common 20 Premier is slightly better thanks to the more powerful graphics processor, which is Mali G77. The A54 uses a Mali G68 CPU. So, if you're heavy on gaming, the Common 20 Premier is a better way to go. Techno is killing it here. It wins this round. On the software side of things, I'm sorry guys, the A54 is straight up better. Okay, let me take things one step at a time. Both smartphones actually comes with Android 13 out of the box, but with a custom skin on it. The techno version is HIOS 13, while on the Samsung device we have One UI 5.1. So why is Samsung better? Well, it comes down to software optimization and refinement. You see, One UI is so well refined. Maybe I should use the word polished. It is so smooth with minimal Bluetooth and art. It provides a more stable experience overall. The Techno device is also very smooth, but it comes with lots of Bluetooth and intrusive notifications that have the tendency of making your device slow down quickly. Secondly, on the A54, you're going to get four years of Android software update, meaning whenever a new version of Android software comes out, the A54 will get it, up to Android 17. Techno, on the other hand, doesn't have a good track record when it comes to Android software updates. However, the Carbon 20 Premier right here will get Android 14 and currently there is a better version of Android 14 for the Carbon 20 Premier. So there is still light at the end of the tunnel for this device. But why per single carry light go keep at the end of the tunnel? Why you no keep them for front? Make a serial worker. Anyways, as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy A54 clearly wins this category. For the cameras, both phones are pulling hard on each other, especially when it comes to the hardware. The Camon 20 Premier being a camera-centric device comes with a 50 megapixels main camera with sensor shift OIS, 108 megapixels auto wide camera, and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. The A54 responded with a 50 megapixels main camera as well, a 12 megapixels auto wide camera, and a 5 megapixels macro lens. In my opinion, I feel like the A54 offers the well-rounded camera experience and overall image quality than the Techno device, especially when it comes to the main camera. Then the Techno fought back with the ultra wide images, delivering best overall ultra wide images. But don't just take my word for it. I will appreciate it if you can take your time and go through the images and share your thoughts with me in the comment section. Let me know which one does it for you, which one you like the most, and which one you think is better. Hey guys, so this is a 4K footage on both smartphones. The Samsung Galaxy A54 is shooting in 4K 30 frames per second, while the Techno Camo 20 Premier is shooting in 4K also 30 frames per second, obviously with no video stabilization. As you can see here, the footage looks great, looks better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, okay? Hi! Hey guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Techno Camo 20 Premier and the Samsung Galaxy A54. The Samsung is shooting in 4K 30 frames per second, while the Techno is shooting in 2K 30 frames per second. I am loving the Samsung right here. Dynamic range is really on point. The Techno has a little bit of a overexposure on the sky. Can you guys see that? Um, but it's not looking that bad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, okay? As for the battery, they both have a 5000mAh battery which honestly should last the same on both and they are actually very great, meaning you get a full day of light to medium use which is decent. However, during my day to day use, I noticed the Samsung device endurance was slightly better than the Techno but the difference was negligible. Where the Techno wins hands down is when it comes to recharging the phone. The Camon 20 comes with a 45W fast charger and it took it only 1 hour and 15 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%.
On the flip side, the Samsung doesn't come with any. So you have to go out there and get yourself a charger. But make sure you're getting a certified Samsung charger if you want your A54 to charge at optimal speed. In this category, Techno clearly wins. In conclusion, both devices are great and whichever one you end up with will definitely put a smile on your face. However, if you're a gamer and want to get the best gaming experience, get the Techno Cam on 20 Premier. But if you want a device that takes the best possible pictures with a rock solid optimization and stability, the Samsung Galaxy A54 is a device for you. What do you think? Share your thoughts to me in the comment section. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video to help someone make a purchase decision. And I'll see you in the very next one.